shit. Sorry. Thank you. Good. What's up everybody, I'm the Mangoose, you are awesome, and today I've got some Shinbi gameplay. She isn't nearly as overpowered as she was in the last two beta tests. Um, taking the healing away from the circle rhythm, it, it hurts. But she's still plenty strong and fun as hell. If you do plan on playing her, I would highly suggest Spirit's Teardrop as your first item. This applies magical damage over time on hit with abilities. Um, this will make your early game poke just a little bit stronger. And an essential item for Shibby is Archon's Gospel. This item gives you increased life steal from both basic attacks and abilities, and it, it puts the healing back into circle rhythm, so it, it lets you be a lot more aggressive. Now, before we get to the gameplay, let's talk about the bad things I did and the good things I did, so hopefully you can learn from my mistakes. Now, the bad, um, I didn't change my cast settings. <laughs> this is a problem I have with overprimed cast settings aren't specific to hero. They're just, you set them, you set it and forget it. Um, and I spent the entire game wondering why my dash wasn't instant. Um, I, I, I'm an idiot. I made a pre-build, but I didn't use it. Like, I didn't pull it up and have it in the background. Would have saved me so much time. I spent too much time buried in the item shop this game. Poor use of pings. I need to improve this just across the board. There's... All kinds of ways to ping the map at Overprime, and I suck at all of them. Now, the good. I was very patient in lane. When Shibi had healing on her E, you could blow the crap out of the lane by dashing into your enemy and just healing up any minion damage by hitting them with a circle rhythm. Uh, that shit don't work anymore, so you need to wait for opportunities to present themselves. Good rotations. This is one thing I certainly don't see enough mid laners doing in OP. Uh, once your lane is set, rotate to solo or duo, and keep a constant eye on your map in case your jungler needs some help. Target selection. I focused the right thing for the most part in this game. I tried to stay on squishies, I didn't try to steal kills, and I sometimes focused the tower when I needed it to go down. While Shibi isn't as strong as she used to be, that certainly doesn't make her weak. She, it just brings her on par with the rest of the magical damage heroes and puts the onus on you to use her kit well. We're going to start the game off by leashing for a jungler, which just happens to be Jelly Knees. I'm playing with Jelly Knees this game. This match is just the two of us. We can make it if we try. This is something you should always be doing as a mid laner is leashing for your jungler. Uh, oh. Jungle minions and overprime don't fuck around and you can't really bitch about your, your jungler not ganking your lane if you don't help them get ahead from the start. So this is, I'm up against a Wraith. Wraith uh, seems to be a little weak in overprime so far from what I've seen. Uh, maybe I just haven't faced a really good one yet, but um. This is just going to be a poke war. My his, his, my poke goes through minions. His poke goes through walls. And uh, so we're just going to stand back and hit each other with one ability over and over again. Well, he's going to hit me. I'm going, I start hitting him. It takes me a while to, to adjust to, uh, to throwing these wolves. I love the sound, too, whenever there's a near miss with, this, uh, with, with his snipe. It's the same thing with Sparrow's piercing arrow. I was in a bad spot for a while there. I was pretty low in health, pretty low in mana. I couldn't really push up into this Wraith because he had me pushed underneath the tower. He has the high ground, and you definitely have an advantage in the game if you have the high ground. But, uh, you know, I got got my jungler up ahead. Hopefully, your jungler will notice, notice that somebody has pushed way past mid in their lane and will come gank. Uh, if not, you're just going to have to sit there and be patient and wait for opportunities. Um, now that we've cleared this out, I'm going to throw down my ward, and we're going to go try and assist Aurora over here in solo lane. So I'm rotating early because Wraith isn't there, so we're going to do what we can to help out. Nice 
job. Now, I should have used the ping system there to let Aurora know that I was on the way, but man, I, I, I'm not familiar, familiar enough with the ping system now. All I do is just I ping warnings on the map whenever I can. Like on, uh, minions now, too. I see you on the map that our jungler is in a fight and might be in a little bit of trouble, so I immediately start to rotate over, catch Wraith a little bit out of position there. Fucked up my dash because I don't have it on quick cast. <laughs> now we're just going to go after the Wraith. Um, Jelly should have that settled with the jungler. We've got Wraith really low. We take him down. So that's what I was talking about. Keep your eye on the map. Watch out for your jungler. Um, those minions aren't going to kill your tower that fucking fast. Way better. And we're going to go ahead and take the mana buff on the side of the lane, little blue bug. You remember these from Paragon's River. That's going to give us a bunch of mana back. And uh, I don't think these take uh, damage from abilities. I think you have to basic attack them, and it always takes three. I'm going to give our Aurora another Brotate uh, that I didn't ping at all, so she has no idea that I'm coming. Now that I'm up on this Wraith, I'm going to be a bit more aggressive in lane. And, uh, I've got some magical damage, so I can actually use my wolves for a little bit of wave clear. You just got to manage your mana well. If you hit a hero with it, you get some mana back. But if you don't, you just, you know, you use your mana to clear the waves. And I don't want to be out of mana, as I often am. <laughs> Absorbs the energy of the spirits. Oh, and shout out to Minimum Ten. Um, he's one of my subscribers. I didn't queue with him, but uh, we ended up in a game with him anyway, and it was a, uh, it was fun. It was a good time. We're back. So after a while in lane, um, after poking back and forth with Wraith, he was he was starting to get the best of me. He was getting the rhythm with his with his snipes. So I'm gonna head back and grab spirits, teardrops, and some. I'm way ahead of him in gold and everything. Just, I just need to buy this stuff. I got a little confused. I accidentally sold it and then I undid it, and I, I, I was confused as to how to move items. But the spirits teardrop item will give you. Um, you're, you're going to see it gives you extra. It gives you a damage over time when you when your ability hit. Gives you a lot of extra poke. Like, it's just, like, that little bit of extra damage goes a long way. He's under tower. An ally has slain an enemy. And I do believe Wraith's Rewind canceled my ultimate right there. An ally has slain an enemy. Shaking the battlefield. Our team has taken the mini prime that allows you to put a prime guardian in lane. I was going to go help him. I was going to go grab some mana and then help them out, but, uh, Four people on Mini Prime is plenty, so I went ahead and just went back to lane and, and pushed. Um, that way, the, the distract the enemy team a little bit. Hopefully, they won't know that we're there. I just made a conscious decision to push instead of helping them out because, uh, yeah, they were going to get it with ease anyway. Coming. The 
Allied tower is under attack. This bird's ready to fly. I smelled that Chimera coming a mile away. <laughs> I hadn't seen him in the map on the map for a while. I knew he'd be coming for me. I'm on the back foot again though against this Wraith. Which kind of sucks, but I'm just going to sit back, be patient, farm, and just wait for opportunities, like I said, from the beginning. I'm very low on health, but I'll try to help. You're not very strong. And this isn't the greatest opportunity, but if my jungler needs help, I'm going to help him. Ah, Wraith got me. Damn. Fair play to Wraith. Good shooting, buddy. I'm going to start building into Archon's Gospel. It took me forever to find this fucking thing. Like I said, if I would have... I, I made a pre-build. If I would have had that pre-build up, I would have been able to know exactly what I needed and just typed it into the search bar. But my dumbass did not do that. So I spent a little too much time this game with my face planted in that, uh, in that item shop. This situation here, I, I should have been going in and putting damage on this tower. Um, I did see that the duo lane was missing, so that's why I threw that ward there. Um, at least the Narbash was missing. I wanted the ping retreat. I just didn't know how. I, like I said, I really need to learn these fucking these ping system. I could have could have uh, ping retreat and saved that twin blast right there, but um, I was prepared for it at least. I knew I knew that shit was coming. We're going to take the Prime Spirit Guardian. This thing is, um, is very good to take. Gives you a permanent buff to your team. It gives you a temporary buff to your minions and temporarily debuffs the enemy tow uh, enemy's towers. Uh, really good to get this thing as many times as possible. Um, I, saw, I did see that Aurora was in trouble, so I took the portal over to help out since they were going to get that Prime Spirit um, with ease. We got the Water Spirit, so that's going to give us mana and mana regen, which I needed. And I missed that freaking Wolof. On Sevrog, unfucking fortunate. I hit him with the ultimate thought that was going to finish him off, and it didn't. He had Narbash there to heal him up, so uh, good play, Narbash. Ah. Ah. Up. The skill can be enhanced. An ally. Good work. Now, if I would have made my RMB instant cast like I should have at the start of this match, I wouldn't have had the waste my blink right there but oh well
Aurora, sweet baby girl. I'm there as well. While our team was mosh pitting that chimera, I decided to go ahead and start working on the Severog. That boy beefy though. <laughs> I'm glad I did work on him here. He, he may have actually escaped with all of us on him like that. Maybe not. Depends on if he had a blink or whatever. But uh, yeah, I, I think I made the right decision right, right there. This is an instance where I should have been hitting the tower with the rest of my team. My thinking was I should back the Severog up so that he doesn't use Colossal Blow to knock everybody away from the tower. I think that was just a, a poor decision on my part. And now here I am, low on mana as always. I, maybe I should put some more mana in her build for real. Uh, after watching this video, I'm just constantly out of mana. And there's just not much I can do in this team fight without having any mana to really do anything. So I'm just going to sit back, poke around, look for opportunities. If you're wondering why that subjugate didn't hit me, um, me, me too. I also wonder that. I wasn't on Aurora. <laughs> and that's it for today's video, folks. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Sub for more third-person MOBA content. But for now, this is the Mangu signing off. You guys have a good one. Mangu. Shout out to channel members Joshua Ben Noctis, J Man, Jelly Knees, Passion Guard, Malco, Hassan A, Nico, F6, Actual Dez, Dapper Dice, Lionheart Official, Blastoise King, Meow Mix for Men, Surge Ben, Covetous Lemon, Bearded Wolverine, Pizza Face, Pusey, El Draco King, Oda, Soul Reaper, Levy Version 2, Clorox TV, iBloodhunter, and Raven.